one curl is just... What are you doing? Behave. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, go through all the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Mood's Instagram page, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if I think everything's a total washout. Before we jump into this week's products, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this weekly series, and if you haven't and you'd like to, hope you will consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. Okay, so to be honest, I've been like crazy busy this past weekend and like the past couple of days just with work and with personal things. So I haven't even really been on Instagram this much and I have no idea. Like normally like I can scroll through and I'll see like one or two things. I have no idea what, what we're about to see. <laughs> okay, so there's this new Lorac palette that just came out for the holidays and honestly... Uh, it's bulky, the colors aren't really calling to me. Like, honestly, only that, like, last row looks in any way interesting at all. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna dump on anything Lorac for the holidays. Oh, I forgot an update. So I did actually pick up the Kylie Halloween eyeshadow palette. Just the eyeshadow palette. I didn't buy anything else in the collection. So as soon as that comes in, I really want to do a chatty get ready with me because I haven't done one in a while and I feel like I've got so much stuff that I just want to talk about and I really want to do one. So I'm going to do it with that palette as soon as it arrives. I know Kylie's shipping isn't like the greatest. Um, so I'm waiting for that to come in. I'm hoping to do it either next week or the week after. Um, let me know if you would like to see that either as a live stream or as just like a regular video because I could do that as a live stream on the weekend. Another update, if you saw my Why I Love Sephora video, you probably already know this, but I haven't picked up the Sultry palette yet. Um, I've got an order like ready to go with Ulta, but I don't want to order it until this weekend because there are a few more things because I'm trying to get together all my products for a full face of Wet n Wild. So I really want to get the rest of those products in that order, and in that order I'm also going to get the Sultry palette. So I'm not going to have the Sultry palette for a little bit longer. But if you guys want to see either a full review video or three looks one palette, also let me know. Because I'm definitely, like, I really want to do something. Maybe put that against the Norvina palette. I don't know. I really want to do something with that palette. Too Faced is coming out with new shades of their Diamond Fire, like, highlighter. And I think this is really great. Like, you get a shade range. It took them a little bit, but I think that's great. But honestly, like, I just like looking at this highlighter. I like the packaging. I like having it. I don't use it that often like I'm doing it I'm gonna do a huge declutter because I need to find like three hours to film because I'm gonna declutter my entire collection and I think I'm gonna declutter that highlighter I don't really reach for it I just I got suckered in 100% by the packaging and by the swatch and by the fact that like some of it is green so I'm probably not gonna pick up any of these other shades but I do think it's good that they did expand that highlighter shade range okay so all of the mini Violet Voss eyeshadow palette shades were released I, I was hoping for the best and none of these are tempting me not even a little bit I don't know I don't know about Lefetra Violet Voss at this point can we just take a second to acknowledge the fact that Drunk Elephant is coming out with a um, <clears throat> $425 kit for the holidays. Be like, oh, thank you for bundling all of those things. Like, oh, now, like, ugh, I thought $60 for a serum was a bit much, but just bundle it all together for $400. Oh, I'm on board. I did go and was it last year I bought their littles kit which had like a bunch of their little mini samples and honestly it wasn't worth it it wasn't that was a lot of money for a lot of little samples and I've not found one drunk elephant product that has like radically changed my life it just hasn't I think I finally found a Pat McGrath palette that I want <laughs> So she came out with some new smaller palettes for $55 for six shades. She's got three of them, and I think I'm going to jump on the one that has the emerald glitter shade in it. 
don't know which one it is. Pink packaging blue. I, they named these by the packaging. And they've got red and pink. The red packaging. Okay, so I'm going to get the Sublime Bronze Temptation because that does have a green shade in it. Although the picture, of course, right up here. Packaging is gorgeous, but finally, I think this is a good place for me to jump in and try out this brand because everyone and their mother won't stop talking about how amazing Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes are. I don't know if I'll get it right away, but I do have my eyes on that palette in particular. I was pretty disappointed by this. I don't know if I actually did a reaction to the re reveal of this palette, but Sigma was coming out with a palette called the Viper palette, and they had like all these cool pictures of green eyeshadow and like snakes, and I was getting these heavy Slytherin vibes, and I was so into it, and then they showed the palette. There's only one green. There's one green, and then the rest is literally just a neutral eyeshadow palette, and like, if you're going to call it Viper, if you're going to go that intense with your marketing, why? Uh, this is like a disappoint. Like, this is up at the top of the disappointments of the year for me. Just why even build it up? Why? Ooh, I saw these from Wet n Wild and I was actually really excited. I think this is an awesome release from them. They're coming out, or they, I think they already have them released at this point, with a mini liquid lipstick bundle, which has all of their, or has not all of them. It has a few of their liquid catsuit lipsticks. They have Rebel Rose, which I highly recommend, Berry Recognize, Life's No Picnic, and Asai So Serious. So I don't know. I've never heard of those last three. The only one that I know is Rebel Rose. Um, so I don't know if those shades are unique to that bundle, but I will be getting that bundle. My Rebel Rose is getting a little bit old, and I was thinking of repurchasing it anyway. Why not just get a mini and then get these other colors too. The swatches look adorable. And then they're coming out with like an everyday highlighter palette. They did come out with a highlighter palette before, but it was like a, a blue, a green, a purple, and it got mixed reviews. But this highlighter palette, it looks like a um, an ABH palette. And it looks really interesting. The shades are Blossom Glow, White Raven, Golden Flower Crown, and Amber. I think it's a shade, Amber. I think I already have White Raven and Blossom Glow, but I do want to get this palette because I do want to put it like head to head to an ABH palette. I think it's really interesting. And if it's the same formula as their regular just Mega Glow highlighting powder, because I know some people were saying that last palette wasn't the same formula, but if it is, that palette's 100% worth it. The mini liquid lipstick set, do they have prices? No, I don't see prices here, um, but I think they're already available online. So if they're from Ulta, I throw them in that Ulta order that I already have going on. If not, I'm going to see if I can find them in stores. But this is a release that I'm actually really excited about. So Riley Rose is coming out with like a box of their favorites, kind of in the, blah, 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 kind of in the tradition of the Sephora favorites kits that are coming out. I love Riley Rose as a store. I have, I believe, two of them in local malls near me, and they're just a great place to get like online only products can this truck shut up but riley rose is just such like a cute little store it's got a lot of online only brands you see lime crime in there you see a whole bunch of k beauty and k skincare brands in there you see sigma which i've never seen sigma like actually in a store outside of a riley rose they have not dose of colors what is the other brand they have a lot of drugstore they have a lot of like more medium end brands and overall i just i love the whole aesthetic of the store it's adorable and the fact that they're coming out with kits like this i think is an awesome idea nothing in this particular kit is drawing me in but if they were to do some other kits i would really be interested especially if they were to include just a little bit more makeup Another Wet n Wild product, one that I'm not that excited about. They're coming out with some more liquid catsuit liquid eyeshadows. I didn't like any of these. I don't know. Honestly, all the liquid eyeshadows that I've tried from Wet n Wild came from their Gothographic collection. But I had such a bad experience with those, I don't know if I'm willing to go out and try more. So I really don't know if those shadows, the liquid shadows, were just a flop on the part of that collection, or if that's just how their formula is for liquid shadows. But just because of how bad experience this was, like it's pushed me away from any liquid eyeshadows from Wet n Wild. So they've released the whole Becca 
Chrissy Teigen collection. I'm so bored at this point, really. I feel like Becca has an issue where they like fixate on one person and they just do collab after collab after collab. It was Jacqueline Hill and then Chrissy Teigen. You don't have to collab with the same person like four times in a row. You realize you can do different things. Yeah? Yeah. So ColourPop posted a like sneak preview of something. Just a bunch of shades kind of swatch next to each other, and the Trend Mood page says, What is this? ColourPop about to drop a new either skin product, contour stick, or maybe eyeshadow primers will be available October 18th. Okay, so by the picture, it does look liquidy or moussey in texture. So I'm thinking either it's a new foundation maybe a dewier one, maybe a different concealer. I just can't bring myself to think that it's like a contour thing with shades that light. Unless they're trying to do like a KKW, like double-ended contour dupe kind of thing. You never know. It could be. I'm gonna be hesitant to try it just because of how bad my experience was with the rest of the ColourPop base products. But it being affordable, I would be willing to give it a shot because I love ColourPop eyeshadows. I think that's really the only thing like I hands down love from ColourPop is the majority of their eyeshadows, but I, I'd be willing to give it a shot. But we gotta see like what it is first. I mean, I know half of the beauty community right now is just like drama, 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 drama. And the other half is just like sick of the drama. I'm kind of in the middle right now where I want to be kept aware of what's happening so I'm not totally ignorant but I'm also sick of it like is this middle school are we back in middle school guys like seriously so that's where I am with it I'm just so on top of that this came from Jaclyn Hill like I'm not I'm gonna steer clear of anything Jaclyn Hill for a long time if not forever <laughs> LMAO it's sunglasses <laughs> LMAO okay so we've been filming long enough I'm gonna leave the video at that for today let me know what you thought of the products down below if you have anything you want me to react to leave it in a comment as well don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I hope I'll see you in my next video tomorrow which sneak peek by the end of this week the black lipstick video will be here. It's either going to be tomorrow or Friday. I forgot which day it is, but you'll see it this week. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.